Hi, my name is Grandma. I'm Megan's grandma. So what are these pictures? Oh, just some pictures I brought. This was my grandparents. We lived in rural South Dakota, so they always farmed with horses. There had been no tractors or anything on the land my grandfather farmed, and then my dad started farming that. To think that he walked up and down those fields, mm -hmm. how tough it must have been, and how the winters were And they started were in a barn. Yeah. They, they lived in a barn as their house. They built a shanty, they mm -hmm. called it the shanty, and until they got the house. And then that's just way back there when my grandpa always showed me that. The winters were tough. They didn't go anywhere really in the winters, you know. Mm -hmm. It was just really hard. Those were the deers hanging on the trailer. They just got their meat from what they could kill and mm -hmm. what they could raise. My grandma had a big garden. She was always good about uh, preparing that. And that was my grandparents' home, which I eventually lived in. My mom was raised there. She had uh, the little evergreens, which you remember turned into big, big trees. Mm -hmm. And so they started from scratch. They just didn't do a lot of, lot of things, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know. That was just when I was a little girl. I was an awful pretty little girl, don't you think? Which one are you? That one. Oh, well, you're the big one. Not the biggest. The you biggest of the good. littlest. I don't quite got your tights all the way up, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but those were those cotton socks. They didn't go all the way oh, up so right. good. They kept slipping down. My grandparents mm -hmm. built the barns and built the, that was the cupola. And that's my grandfather up on top, top of the barn they put it. And then they put lightning rods up. That's a 600-pound pig they oh, butchered. I didn't get to go out and watch, but they did put it in a big barrel of hot water to oh, skin it. It's pretty exciting. And then my grandma, you know, they had the chickens. They just were so self-sufficient with the gardening and such. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was more of the pheasants, you know, back then. They just were... Good hunters. That's a they lot. were, you Must know. Must have been before the limits. Yep, I think it was. My grandpa also had a stuffed owl that my kids all, my grandkids took to school Isn't for show and tell. This is the grandma who had the bird bath that's in yeah. here, right? Yeah, no, this is the her mother. This is my grandma back there. Mm -hmm. And my grandma came over from Germany when she was like six years old. And my, my dad's family came over from Norway. We're back where the nationality made a difference. Mm -hmm. When we were in Oregon, I couldn't be a German. I was a half Norwegian and a fourth Swede, but I became a half Swede and a half Norwegian because we were fighting with the Germans kind of oh. at that time. And so, so it was you not cricket. I was call a yourself a German. I couldn't fully? be a German, no. But you know, oh, my grandma, mm -hmm. Grandma Myrna, they had a little buggy and horse where they Until went they to, school. to school. Mm -hmm. Their life was maybe tougher than mine. I was born in '34, so by '37, I think the depression got better. Mm -hmm. And so I never knew there what depression meant. I thought I was just fine, you know. The dirty thirties. Mm -hmm. I was born in. We didn't have a lot of things, but we made our own fun and did our own things. And it was just special going to my grandparents. When my grandparents came to our house and brought ice for lemonade, we thought that was a really big deal. It was nothing but ice. On a hot summer day, that sure made the lemonade better, I'll tell you. Oh, that's Grandma Myrna. Oh, yeah. And so that was kind of a schoolgirl picture of my mom. She was a basketball player at Thorpe Consolidated School, <coughs> and my grandpa played with the, the Garden City Band, you know. Our entertainment on a Friday night or Saturday mm -hmm. night usually was when people went to town. That's the drugstore in, in Garden City, which is nothing left really of Garden City. Mm -hmm. It's kind of went bad. Oh, hmm? that's the drinking relatives that I was going to tell you about. Oh, yeah, tell me about it. <laughs> don't know much. I think my grandma, when I asked her about that picture, she thought oh, they were being silly. So I don't know. Oh. It's a funny picture, so I thought I'd better give it to you. Oh, yeah. 